Hello everyone, it's James Lux Trains here and welcome back to Railway and today I'm going to be talking about like different controllers again um, because obviously I want to talk about the behind one and that lot again so obviously you know that's the reason I'm doing the video uh, but other than that I hope you really enjoy the video and let's get this video started then so yeah as you know now I've got at least four controllers I've got the Gauge Master one I've got two of those for my track my DCC Select, which I've had for years. This old Hornby controller, which I'm getting rid of, finally. And my newest one, what I love, is my Mahani one. Um, right then, so the first ones we're going to talk about, just to get the rubbish ones out of the way pretty much, is going to be the old Hornby one and the Mahani one. Now, in my opinion, right, and a lot of people might agree with me on this, right, but in my opinion, I'm surprised that Hornby didn't think of using this feature for their um, Hornby controllers. Because if you listen, that clip there changes the direction of three locomotives, which I am going to show later on after I've talked about it all, guys. Um, but that's what I'm saying, though. Right, guys. Sorry, guys, I've got an itch. Um, you know, with Hornby, right, and I can show this now because it's in like daylight, but obviously I can perform. If you look, it does locks up and it doesn't move anywhere, but you turn off all the way down, switch it, and then turn it back up, and then you can't switch it again. Which I personally think that's a mistake what Hornby made. I mean, like I said, I between that and me being stupid, I used to, I did used to run my Batman uh, Thompson James on this controller. Um, until I actually found out a couple of months back that um, if you run them on DCC, DC locomotives can, well, DCC controllers can actually melt your yeah, DC locomotives motors, and that's what happened with my old Thomas and James. But I've got two new Thomas and Jameses now, so they're, they're all okay. Right then, so now that we've got the weakest one out of the way, which I'm, I can finally either get rid of that or sell it for a bit of money. Right. So now, we're going to be talking about Gauge Master and Mahanu. Now, again, it's the same, kind of same feature. I mean, it's like when you've got um, Gauge Master, like, up, you can switch it. Which, yeah, I could understand why some manufacturers might choose not to, like, put the locomotives under so much stress and all stuff like that. Um... But I do like the Gauge Master one. I mean, I got my both mine for forty five pounds. Some I think it were, and to say that I only paid fifty for the entire train, well forty six pounds. Some I actually wanted for a full train set, my own special train set. I mean, I love this controller. It feels good to use. It's really like robust, and it does feels really good to use in the hand. But like I said, guys, I am going to take this up on onto the layout later on, and I'm going to. Either one, run all the controllers and see, show you all the features, or two, just have a little bit of a running session with them. But I'm gonna take take some of my locomotives down to my layout later and possibly run running for a bit. Um, now I'm going to talk about DCC. Now, obviously, I know there's loads of DCC controllers out there. Um, there's Gauge Master, Backman, um, Hornby, um. Trying to think what else there is. Um, I don't think I don't think Lima does it. Does DCC? But um, I've had this DCC select since since I was about thirteen, maybe eleven, and it's never let me down. But obviously now I know that I need to start one of my DCC locomotives. Not on it, on it. Not my DC locomotives. So I'm gonna obviously start doing that now because obviously I've got two DCC locomotives. I've got my Malad and I've got my Pendaluna. So they're my two DCC locomotives. Whether if back, in fact, guys, that's what I want to ask you a lot. Does Backman DCC locomotives work on this controller, or do I need to get like a different controller to run my back, run Backman DCC locomotives under it? Just let me know down in the comments below, and then I'll take a look in to get some DCC um, Batman locomotives. 
Um, but other than that, guys, I haven't got really much else to say. But what I'm going to possibly do now is I'm going to hook up some some uh, my controllers, some of the layout, and then I'm going to show you what I mean by some of the features. So I'll have one gauge west one running, one the Hornby select will be running, and then I'll be running the rubbish Hornby controller, and I'll take it out straight away. And then I'll be running the game, I mean, behind and one last. So we'll go down to the layout now then, guys, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Right, guys, so as you can see, all my controllers are down onto the, um, on the floor now. And as you can see, I have actually changed the number on my DCC selects on my uh, Malad. Um... I will go through how to do that, but it is quite um, long to do, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm going to show you the first one, which is the worst one of them all, I think. And that's the old Hornby controller. And as you can see, I've got the Hornby, little Hornby O4. So as you can see, I'm just using the power up now. And as you can see, all you can hear at the at the first glance, guys, is just like this horrible buzzing. And I hate it to the point where I'm like really worried that my locomotive might break. Do you know what I mean? But guys, if I just like take you down here and I'll take this. Right, I'm just opening up my phone, we'll stay there though, that guys, that's all I'm kind of concerned about. In fact, you can look at Thomas and Mallard for a bit. So all I'm doing, guys, I'll explain to you what I'm just doing now. I'm just unplugging the old Hornby one, as you can see I've just done. And now I'm going to plug in, in fact, I'll show you this actually. I'll plug in, I'm plugging in this Mahanu one now. So... Right, I'm just making sure that my phone will actually stay there, guys, because at the minute my, my tripod's actually funny. Right, guys, so as you can see, I'm just going to plug in, because obviously I've already got it connected up. I'm just going to bob it in there like that, and then the red light should come on like that. So that's the Mahani one. And listen to this, guys, it sounds so much better now. See what I mean, guys? There's no screaming or anything for the locomotive. And that's the one thing I like about the Mahani one. So, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if... I mean, I am going to try and get rid of my Hornby controller because it's... it is crap. Um, again, guys, sorry about my language there, but... the Hornby controller, the old one, is just really rubbish. I mean, I've had like, a lot of people who text me saying that they're worried about their locomotives might burn out because of it. But as you can see, this Mahani one is really smooth. I mean, I can even get the little Hornby also to do some good speeds. I'm sure it's that's for some reason. Uh, yeah, I think this one's still in fact with my feet shorting out. But anyway guys, that's the Mahani one and the Hornby one done now. Right, DCC, where do I start on DCC, seriously? Um, obviously, I, if you guys know, my Mallard's got TTS sound on it, which is a brilliant thing for DCC. And all you have to do is press function and then press the one in. And then the sound should come on like that. So like, if you want to have a sound, so like, say for instance, in fact guys, I'm not sure you actually, if I can. So, if you press, I'm just trying to make sure that you're level guys. So if you press fun function and two, you get a long whistle. Now if you press function three, I think it's a short whistle, see? Um, and as you can see guys, it is a really nice locomotive to have as part of your collection. In fact, I'm going to send it around for you guys. It's going to look well since I've run this beautiful locomotive. It's one of my favourites. Other than Jane, you know what I mean, as you can see, guys, it runs beautifully. I love 
other mob as well. So, uh, and also, you know, not all the folks full speed on my track because obviously my track's not all put together at the minute, you know what I mean? But it will be doing it, it will be guys, don't worry. But when it gets over that bit, you see what I mean, look guys, for some reason that bit over there just cuts out. So that's DCC for you, for you guys. So the next one we're going to look at is the Gauge Master one, which is there. And as you can see, I've got the Batman Thomas set up onto the Gauge Master controller. And as you can see, guys, it, it goes really smoothly. I mean, that's on 40%, and the speed is just incredible with the. Um, Game Master Control. I mean, I mean, like I said in my, in my review on, on Sunday, um, you can pay, pay up to 80 quid or 40 odd quid for the Game Master Control. I paid 50, well 46 quid, sorry, for the entire train set, for the Mahana train set. And in fact, guys, for a bonus, for the, those people who like Thomas out there, I'm going to actually show you how the um, Batman Thomas look, but it's run on the Mahana one, because they were fantastic. So we'll just let Thomas have this one more lap. And then we'll put him on to the Mahani line, which is the one what the Horn BO throws on. So if we just swap, make him swap lines. Because the reason why I'm making this video, guys, and I forgot to tell you, is just in case, like, what controls you decide to go for. I mean, look how smooth that is. I mean, I'll be honest with you, like, guys, I was going to pay 80 odd quid for a double controller for the Mahani one. I mean, not Mahani, Gage Master. But look how smooth Thomas is running there, and it's not even, that's on 50%, guys. If you don't believe me, I can take down and look. It's, do, it's just a fantastic control to have in your hands. So anyway guys, um, that's enough for talking about controls. I'll flip the camera back around now. Sorry about me, I'm getting in the way. Um, and then I've got a couple of other stuff to show you as well guys. So I'll talk to you in a bit guys and I'll, when I flip the camera back around. Right guys, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video today. Um, let me know down in the comments below what controllers is your favourite. But other than that, I can finally say goodbye to this one because I'm done with this one now. Uh, because obviously I won't be getting any more controllers. Well, I will be getting one more controller and that's the app-based controller. I'm really looking forward to getting that one. But another thing what I want to show you guys, and I, and I forgot, well, I did sort of know this and I sort of didn't in, in Sunday's review. But on the Mehanu wagons, they're actually NEM couplings. So if you look, they come out. So say for instance, You want it to like swap it for like a UK coupling. You can just bob it in and then there you go. You can just turn it into a UK rolling stock, which is a brilliant idea, I think. But yeah, guys, um, like I said in my video on Sunday or whenever it were, I'm just glad that I finally found a controller because I'm a hard new controller. Sorry that I'm not looking at the camera much. I'm just trying to fit another... Um, coupling hooky in one of my trucks, I'll do it in a bit. Um, but the reason why I'm making this controller, because obviously, if you remember my last video, I did actually make like a um, like a video dinner for for like different controllers when I got my Gauge Master ones. Um, and I was gonna get another Gauge Master one, but then Mahanu came up thanks to Sam's train, so I thank him so much for showing me the controllers. Because they're fantastic on my Batman Thomas locomotives. But then again, uh, one of my mates on Facebook, he actually texted me. I think it was Craig who texted me. And he said the reason why the Mahana ones could basically work with the Batman Thomas locomotives is because the Mahanu controller is based in the USA, which I, I think is correct. You might have to let me know down in the comments below. And that's the reason why they could work well with the Thomas range, because the Thomas range was actually originally from the USA, wasn't it? So, um, like I said, I, you know, I just really love the fact that the controls is really easy to use. It's base, yeah, it's basic, but 
you what what other gadgets could you possibly want on it? You know what I mean. But anyway, guys, other than that, I hope you really enjoyed the video today. I know. Oh, I keep forgetting to say this. So I I hope you all all staying safe. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Within two weeks, we'll be out of this lockdown. So you know, so I can go out and get more stuff and move to review basically because I'm running out of ideas. Another thing what I wanted to say to you guys is on the 12th of May, um, I know it might be a Tuesday, but I don't know whether to put the video out on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's the Thomas and Friends anniversary, 75th anniversary. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see me do for the Thomas and Friends anniversary because I really need some someone's help to basically, you know, tell me what I, need, what I could do for an idea. I mean, a lot of people said I could do a running session and have like some of the classic, um, some of the classic themes playing as the trains are going around my layout. And I thought that's not a bad idea. But anyway, guys, enough of me chatting about that. Um, I hope you have a lovely day today, and I guess I'll see you next time with whatever I'm gonna be doing. And then see you later, on bye. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I guess I'll see you later then, guys. Oh, then see you later, bye.